She came to me full of hope and purpose, intent to guide me the right way. For she heard I was the blind one among us. She came like an angel from a land far away. And wanted to color my world in beautiful shades. For I was the girl without a rainbow. How pitiful I was through her lens. Out from their shallow storage, ready as they were, emerged her brushes, wet with color, eager to slash my neutrality. With her bright hues, because there was seemingly no better life than the life of a rainbow. How else could one have a pot of gold? She explained every tint, every stain, and every dye. With eyes glowing like the yellow sun, every pigment had only faded. Holy iridescence, keen opalescence, none more worthy than the colorful ones. I examined each tone of her paintings, paintings I have viewed many times before, and politely declined, because I live in black and white. Okay, that was the end of the first one. So kind of as a continuation, this is also called Neutral Tones too. <clears throat> because I live in black and white, because I think in the most beautiful shades of gray, because the silver sparkle of my words is what I appreciate most about myself. Bright white light doesn't shine any less when you close your eyes. Even the sky is gray sometimes, and I love the smell of rain. The gloom washes away the taintedness and superficiality of a world painted over until all that's left is what is meant to be. The moisture of respect softens the heart that is pure without being tie-dyed and dipped in a concoction of funhouse mirrors. Thank you.